everybody, how are you today? Uh, hello, my name is Starmaster Ju Young Park, and I am excited to be here in Singapore again. Are you as excited as I am? Yeah. I can't hear you. Are you as excited as I am? Yeah. Yes. Um, I've been given the honor to um, present to you the marketing plan. And I'm sure a lot of you have heard the marketing plan before, but I want to take a different approach to the marketing plan today. I want to talk with you about why Atomy works and how the compensation plan is structured for individuals who are like you and me, just regular Joes, and how we can still, through our own personal ability, build passive income of $50,000 a month. Is that small amount of money or is that a large amount of money? Yes, because it is passive income, right? Um, so let's talk about that today. So everybody here today, um, I'm sure that you're doing Atomy as a part-time business or you are not yet doing Atomy or you're doing Atomy as a full-time business. But before meeting Atomy, I want you to uh, look at the board and see uh, where do you stand on this A to P? A stands for active income, okay? So on this graph, uh, the number one stands for 100% of your personal ability creates a income, okay? And as we go down this graph to one, two, three, four, five, five stands for full on passive income, meaning that 0% of your effort is given to the income that you are receiving. So you've created your income through active income from one, all the way to now five. So the job that you are doing right now or the business that you are a part of, if you do not do anything today, will you gain that income from that job or from that business? Most of us will answer no, right? So if you don't go to work today, what happens? No income, right? You get fired, right? Let's say that you're running your own personal business. You're managing everything, okay? You're hiring people. You're conducting everyday businesses. If you are out of the picture as the business owner, does your business run smoothly or is it just chaotic? Usually, it's chaotic, right? So many of us dream. We want to get to the five, right? We want to get to creating full-on passive income, but most of us do not know how to get there. Is that correct? But if I told you that you could get there, would you want to do it or would you reject it? You would want to do it, but it would seem like a dream, okay? So I want to share with you that it is not a dream, but we have to now look at what? Where do you stand today in terms of how much time do you have, okay? So I started Atomy in 2013. I was 26 when I started Atomy. Okay, and now I am uh, 31. So I've been doing Atomy for five years. And during that time, I've been able to see many, many, many different things in Atomy and in just my personal life. So what we have to understand is if we want to create passive income, what are we going to do and how are we going to spend our times doing it? Because time is money, right? Just because you have a lot of time doesn't mean that it is not valuable, right? Your time is very valuable. Time is something that you cannot get back. So every day, what you're doing will matter. So in this business, I want you to write down your age that you desire to retire. So write that down right now, okay? So what's a good age for you to retire? I'd say 60, okay, just to say. And then my current age, let's say, is 30, okay? And how many years do you have remaining to get to the passive income mark? 30 years, right? But if you want to retire quickly, then you have to think about what I can do to get to that goal, okay? So that's why I want you to write this down. You have to have time in mind, okay? So let's go to the next slide. So what is business, okay? Um, I wanna get to the very, very basics of what business is and what it can offer us. I'm gonna try to go a little fast today since I don't have much time, okay? So business is very simple in my opinion, okay? Every single business has a product or a service, that's it right? That's the beginning and end of a business. So let's look here. The product here, you see the lady using skincare? That's a product, right? And you see the service? That's an airplane ticket. And there are other things that you can calculate into this. But in order to have a successful business, you have to sell a product or a service to individuals to gain an income. Would you agree with me? Yes. yes. So here, the next question, it says, where what makes, uh, what? 
successful business. What makes a successful business? This is all tied together with Adamy's marketing plan, okay? Because no matter how good a marketing plan is, if you do not have a product that can be consumed on the regular, then you do not have a sustainable business. You just have a temporary business model. So here it says, to better understand what I mean, I want to what? Reverse engineer this question for you, okay? So I'll read the question to you one more time. It says, what? What, what, but what makes a successful business, okay? So when do you continue to use or change the product or service that you're using? So answer this for yourself, okay? Let's say that you have a foam cleanser, okay? Let's say that you have a deep cleanser, okay? You continue to use that product, why? Because somebody told you about it, right? Because you did market research and you feel that it is good for your skin. Because the price range is right. Because in some aspect, you are satisfied with the product that you're using. But when do you change that product? Okay. So let's say company A, company B, company C comes to you and says, Hey, please, don't use your foam cleanser anymore. Use this one. Okay. You as a consumer... What, what makes you decide on wanting to use a different product? Usually, the question is answered this way, okay? If the product gives you value, okay? So what is the value that I'm referring to? Let's read it together, okay? Let's read the grade together. It says, most will say value is determined by comparing your current product or service with one that gives you better results at a lower expense. Would you agree? Yes, you would agree, right? So if you are using a foam cleanser and if a different company is able to offer you a equivalent quality product at a lower price, would you be willing to change it, yes or no? Yes. You would. Why? Because it offers you value. And you will continue to use that product until another company appears that is able to offer you an even better quality at an even lower price. So if you do not have this basic idea structured in your um, compensation plan, then you don't have a compensation plan. All you're doing is you are in a revolving door. You're finding one consumer and then that consumer will use that product and leave when somebody else comes to them with a better product. So if you do not have consumers staying to continue to use the product because the product gives you value, you can never create passive income. You can never create residual income. Everything that you'll be doing is active. You'll be doing a door to, you'll be just like a door-to-door -door salesman. You'll sell it one time and that'll be it. You won't be able to create that passive income that we're dreaming about because your product is not sustainable, right? That's why CEO Park created the coin, the term absolute quality and absolute price. And that's why we're marketing our products for individuals who are all over the world who are average individuals who would understand and are able to compare to other products around us. So we say this anatomy. We say that you don't need any special ability or skills to become successful in anatomy. Now, a lot of people don't understand that it, that's not how it usually works, right? If you want to go to a very good university, you have to have the necessary skills to get into that university. Would you agree with me? If you want to go to uh, the University of Singapore, can you just go without studying? No. If you want to go to Harvard or whatever other prestigious schools that there are, you have to be accepted into it, right? There, has, there are prerequisites. There are things and tests that you have to pass with your personal ability to get to that place, right? So, so far, everything that we've seen and understood when we see successful individuals, especially in business, they're not average. They're usually individuals with a special set of skills who are able to do X and Y to get the results that they desire. But everybody sitting here today, even including myself, I am just average, right? I don't have any special skills that brings me above and beyond somebody else. But Atomy has been structured in a way where we say it is your effort, right? Rather than your ability that brings about success. And that's something that we are not accustomed to hearing. A lot of individuals are accustomed to, I have to have some kind of ability to get to that kind of place. But let me ask you a question, okay? So what's the difference between ability? What's the difference between effort? 
okay? Effort is being able to do the things that you already know how to do, right? And special skills are things that you have to develop or things that even if you try to develop, you will still continue to lack, right? So if those were the stipulations in your success, then a lot of us will not be able to be successful. But the very first thing that we have to think about is the product. Is this product going to be one that I can easily help other people consume? Or am I going to need some kind of special speaking skills to persuade them to try it? That will be your first barrier. But in Atomy, we say amazing prices, amazing quality. You should just give it a try, right? That's the extent of our explanation. What is it? Everybody repeat after me. Amazing quality. Amazing prices. You should give it a try. C.O. Park says that's all you have to do. But if you think about it, that makes sense. Because no matter how well you are no matter how good you are at explaining a product, if the individual who is consuming the product rejects it, then will you make that sale? No. You can explain to them how gr great and amazing this product is for one hour, but they can try it and use it and say, but I don't like it. It's not good for me. Then no matter how good you are at speaking, did it do any help? Technically, no, right? But in other companies, we have to try to what? persuade them to use a product because it is usually more expensive than what they're currently using. But in Atomy, we're able to say amazing quality, amazing prices, you should give it a try because we are actually giving the person who is buying the product value. We're helping them save money. And as we help them save money, they're able to analyze the product in a different perspective. You have not come to them with the hopes of taking money from them, but you've come to them to help them save money. It's a total different aspect. So if you are a consumer who is using, let's say, a $30 sun cream, sunscreen, right, and I come to you with a $50 product, then I have now, I'm trying to sell you a product that is $20 more expensive, yes or no? right? So you as a consumer, as you buy that product, you probably would have never thought about the quality of your $30 product that you're using. But since I am now here and I have sold you a product that is $20 more expensive, you will start to analyze that product to see if it is actually better than your $30 product. Why? Because you have to make a decision next time to buy this product again or to go back to your product. Yes or no? right? That's how natural psychology works. That's how consumers act. Consumers won't value. But if you go to that person with a product that is less than what they are accustomed to paying for, then they look at it from a very different perspective. So let's say that I come to you with a $15 product instead of a $30 product, right? So you are now saving $15. And as you use this product, it is still equivalent in quality as what you are already using, then even if it's not amazing, you still say, wow, let me try this again next time. And what have you just done? You have just changed consumer habit, okay? So let's look at this graph. Um, if you look at number one, I want to work backwards, right? So we're reverse engineering this marketing plan, okay? So the first, everything needs to start with a product that changes consumer habit, okay? Everybody repeat with me. A product that changes what? Consumer habit. If you do not have a product that can change consumer habit, you have a temporary business, okay? You do not have a business that will be able to last for a long time because they'll be running around, right? Everybody understands that things, there are things that you can continue to use forever and not get tired of it, and there are things that you have to change. For example, I can't wear this suit for 100 years, right? If I continue to wear this suit every single day, everywhere I go, a lot of people, maybe I won't be tired of it, but maybe other people will be tired of seeing me in this same suit every time, right? But I can continue to use the same foam cleanser for the rest of my life, and nobody's going to care, as long as what? It is right for my skin. Would you agree? So there are products that you can continue to use forever, and there are products that you cannot, even though the quality is great and the price is great. So 
Atomy is structured in a way where we're doing everyday products, shampoos, toothbrush, toothpaste, rice, things of that nature, where you can continue to use the same product, the same brand, over and over and over again without getting any negative results. Everything is still positive and good. So the next part that we have to think about is the consumer, right? If you are giving a good product to the consumer, the consumer understands the value of it and will continue to use it. Therefore, it makes the job of the IBO much, much, much easier. All right? So independent business owners are number three. Okay? These are the individuals who are compensated for speaking to and building consumers all around us. Okay? So what will make your life easier as an independent business owner? If what? The company offers you products that everybody can use on a daily basis at a price that is very affordable and competitive to other products on the market, but the quality much higher. That will make the life of who? The business owner much easier. Yes or no? So for individuals like yourself, if I come to you and say, please sell a $10 toothbrush, do you think it'll be easier to sell a $10 toothbrush or a $1 toothbrush? It'll be easier to penetrate the market with a lower priced product. And then we'll determine if the quality is indeed good enough to be $10 or if it's even better than other $1 ones, right? That's where you have to be the judge of if Atomy is it valuable or not. So that's why your CEO Park says, do not, do not what? Do the business if you do not see value in the product. If you do not believe the product is giving you any value, please don't do the business, he says, right? So as individuals do this, these are the things that we have to then think about as the independent business owner. So the title says this. It says paddling downstream and not upstream. Okay? So we have to see the natural way the river flows, and our business has to go floating downstream and not up. So let's imagine this. Let's say that you're, on, you're at the top of the hill on the river. Okay? You're on your little floaty. Okay? Even if you close your eyes, you're going to end up at the bottom of the river, right? without doing anything, just floating down. Effortlessly, you'll get there, okay? So in business, there are different aspects that are fighting against you, that help you, that do not help you, that are things that um, keep you from success. So what are those things then? And how has Atomy built the system so that you are not having to deal with those things, okay? So let's look at the compensation plan, okay? The Atomy compensation plan is developed where everybody can reach and become successful. So I want to spend a little time on here. So here it says it's a binary plan, right? You see the unilevel plans, the force matrix. There are different types of plans everywhere, okay? But like I stated, these plans do not matter if the product is not good. Okay, so everybody's on the same page with me, right? So number one, the product has to be good, okay? The product has to be something that gives value and changes consumer habit. Because if the consumer habit cannot be changed in the future, then no matter what kind of plan the company offers you, it is just, it is just um, a dream, right? It looks like it will be something that you can become successful in, but it won't be. Okay, so who is CEO Park? CEO Park is an individual who himself uh, fell in love with network marketing, right? He was an average um, employee, and then he learned about network marketing, and he joined a company for himself, and he went all the way up in the ranks, so he knows how this business functions and works. And another great thing that he had the opportunity of doing was he was one of the leaders the presidents of the Leaders Club members of other successful network marketing um, business men and women. So they would have meetings and they would talk about the pros and the cons of this company's compensation plan, the pros and the cons of this company's product, and so on. So CEO Park had the opportunity to talk to so many different individuals when he created Adam. He already had that experience in him. So therefore, that experience is what 
developed and created Adamie's binary plan. So Adamie's binary plan is structured in a way where everybody here can create passive income. Why? Why, why, why? Because this, okay? What makes Adamie's binary plan unique? Okay? I like that word unique because something has to be different. Something has to stand out for you to be able to market yourself, to market Atomy, to market Atomy's marketing plan to other individuals because we're not the only binary plan in the world, right? There are many other binary plans. And every individual will argue that theirs is the best. Theirs is the best. But when we are non-biased and we're able to actually communicate in a very third-party manner where we're not in it, then we can all agree to these things. What? If there are any kinds of fees whatsoever, that will be a hindrance to your market growth. Agree or disagree? Agree, right? If you have to pay a fee of any kind, it would be more difficult to do that business than a business where you don't have to pay a fee of any kind, right? So at me, there is no registration fee. It is free to register to become an Atomy member, to start making money. And what else? There is no maintenance cost. It is free maintenance. So what do these two things mean? These two things mean that individuals who would have never signed up for Atomy will sign up for Atomy. Because there are individuals who, what? Would have never signed up but will because it was free. So I will raise my hand. If Atomy cost me money to sign up, I would not have registered. Can I get a raise of hands if, that was, if you're in the same boat as me? Real high so everybody can see. You see all these individuals? You see all these hands? They would not be sitting here today. If they're not sitting here today, then if they invited somebody, that person that they invited wouldn't be here either because they wouldn't be here. You see how this works? The system has to be free. Okay? It needs to be truly free. Because if you go shopping at the mall or if you go shopping at your local grocery store, do they charge you to enter the facility? No, it is free. You have the opportunity to buy if you see value in the product, right? But in other marketing plans, there is what we call a registration fee. And these registration fees are usually hidden as starter packages, okay? So they will say, no, 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 there is no registration fee. But if you want to gain commission from your downline, then you should buy A starter package or B starter package. If you buy A, then you'll gain this kind of incentive, right? They'll say you'll get a marketing plan. In the marketing plan, if you buy package A, you can get matching bonuses. If you buy package B, which is $500 more expensive, then you can get matching bonus and you can get downline leverage. So there are always stipulations to your success in other businesses. But in Atomy, since there are no stipulations, that means that your ratio of, a, of success goes up greatly because you're not filtering people because you should never judge a book by its cover, right? We, we all agree to say that, yes or no, right? But what we're doing is we're not judging them by their cover, but we are what? Limiting individuals with potential from joining because they themselves do not believe in having to pay for this kind of system. So Atomy has taken all that away because CEO Park saw that other companies usually had what? Registration fees and starter packages to keep the company afloat. So those were not things that were needed for the business individual, but those were things needed for the company to stay afloat, to market, to keep the lights on. But CEO Park said, listen, let's don't charge anything. And let's make sure that everything that we do from now on is product-based. So if our products are not good, we should close the door. That's the way CEO Park saw the business. And that's the way that he started going and building the business. So as we see this, it says, the next one, can we see that? It says, what makes sense anatomy so what makes success anatomy so much easier? Okay? So let's look at number one. It's kind of bundled together, right? Number one, it says unlimited downline leverage into ability to qualify easily for all compensation. Okay? So this is the part that most people do not understand. In 
anatomy, we have something called unlimited downline leverage, okay? And what we do with this, this means that we have luck on our side, okay? As we build our business and as we grow our business daily, as we do this, there, it is inevitable that we will meet individuals around us who have the ability to do more than we can, right? Because this is what we call a team effort. So when I was in the States and I was working with my parents and I was helping my parents do multiple businesses, I saw them working really, really hard every day. They would wake up early in the morning and they wouldn't go, they wouldn't be back home until late, late, late at night, okay? They maybe went to bed four hours a day, okay? Um, and I saw them working and working and working. But in the end, I got a phone call when I was in university since I did all the paperwork for my parents and I translated for my parents. She said, Ju, you got to buy a lawyer. And I said, what? I have to get a lawyer? Why? Getting a lawyer is never good, okay? So I said, why? Because we have to file for bankruptcy, okay? So my parents, even though they worked really, really hard, in the end, they still were not able to become financially successful at that time. So when that happened, I started to question and I started to ask individuals who were successful around me what it is that they did. So every time I went to the gas station in the States, everything, you know, you pump your own gas. So I would walk up to the individuals with the Rolls Royces, with the Bentleys, with the Lamborghinis, and I would ask them, what do you do, sir? What do you do, ma'am? And every single one of them told me that they were business men and business women. All of them, right? Because a lot of people can afford Mercedes Benzes and a lot of people can afford Audis, right? They're not extremely expensive. But a Rolls Royce, right? A Bugatti, those cars are $3 million, right? Who in the right mind will just be able to buy a $3 million car and the oil change on the car costs $50,000? right? Changing the tires is like $25,000. No just average individual can afford a car like that, okay? But those individuals told me this. In the 30-second short conversation that we had, they would tell me, they said, listen, you will never be able to become successful on your own. You always need the help of other individuals around you, and their ability and effort combined with yours will bring about success. But my parents, they were always working by themselves, right? It was just a mom and pop shop, so they were just working alone. But the unlimited downline leverage that Adami is talking about is talking about the ability to work with your partners, to gain from their strengths, to work with your sponsors, to gain from their strengths, and to ignore the weaknesses. Because everybody has weaknesses, right? But in Atomy, we are able to structure our business in a way where if you do not have the ability to speak well, does it matter? No. If you do not have the ability to sell, does it matter? No. It does not matter in Atomy because everybody's ability becomes your ability. Everybody agree with this? Okay. Next, let's look at the compensation plan breakdown. Okay. So this is just an example of what I wanted to create for you. Okay. So Atomy, they give you back 35%. Okay, so 35% of the company's revenue is returned in compensation, okay, for business individuals like you and like me. But you hear about other companies, you say, well, company T gives 50%, company B gives 70%. Have you heard these things before? No? Yes? Yes, other companies offer more, it looks like, right? It looks like they offer more. But do not be tricked. Okay, so what I want to talk about is how is that percentage broken down then? Do you really get 70%? Do you really get 50%? Do you really get 35%? That is the question that you have to answer. So let's talk about the 70% company. So if a company says that they're going to return 70% of their revenue back to you, does that make logical sense? Like think about it. That means that if they sell a product to a consumer, there's already a 
markup, right? That's something that has to be taken from them to give it, be given to you. But what did I say in the beginning of this lecture? I said that if the consumer is not able to gain a product that is absolute in price and absolute in quality, they will not remain. So a company who is going to give you 70%, that means that they're not offering their consumers an absolute priced, absolute quality item. So therefore, that compensation plan has no, no meaning. But let's go even deeper, okay? If you go into the 70%, you can see the 50%. Let's look at it. It says, one, sponsorship bonus, 10%. Leadership bonus, 10%. Education bonus, 15%. General commission, 15%. So percentages are always broken down. So even if it's 50%, an average individual will never be able to qualify for all 50%. It's not possible. Maybe you'll get 15% if you're lucky, right? But you were promised how many? 50%, but in reality, how much are you getting back? 15%, maybe. So you have to dig and you have to logically think about and break down the compensation plan to see if you are truly gaining what you should be gaining. Okay? So even the 70%, it's broken down. I broke it down just into five, right? The sponsorship, the leadership, the this and this and this. Okay? But as you look at these things, only superstars will be individuals who can gain all the commission. Only superstars. For example, the sponsorship bonus. Usually matching bonuses and sponsorship bonuses are given to the individual who directly registers that individual. So if you are an individual who is not able to register many people, is the matching bonus or the sponsorship bonus, does that have any meaning to you? No, because you're not going to be able to register people anyways. Do you understand? But they'll talk about it in the other way. They'll say, listen, since this company offers you sponsorship bonus, if you get lucky and you just register one person and that person does the business really well, we'll match 100% of their income to your income. That sounds great, right? Like, theoretically speaking, that sounds wonderful, doesn't it? But in reality, how many individuals who do not have the ability to persuade and to register individuals are going to be able to gain the benefits of a sponsorship bonus? Not many, right? So these are just word plays, right? These are just breaking down the compensation plan. So it seems like they're giving you a lot but in reality, you're not getting a lot, okay? So what makes Atomy different then? Atomy, it says what? The general commission is broken down into 30 to 33%, okay? The mastership bonus is broken down into two, into one to 3%. And we have a N value, so therefore it always fluctuates a little bit. But our main system is broken down into three, okay? The three different things. So if you look at the next slide, Here's the breakdown of the commission, okay? So in Atomy, if you add the yellow and the blue, it equates to around 30% that you're gaining back. And how does that work? It works like this, okay? So let's say that you register in Atomy and you are here. This is you, okay? And let's say that you have a left and a right downline. And every individual that's registered in your left and right leg, whatever PV that they accumulate or build is considered general, general commission, okay, general. So everybody that's registered in your downline, no matter if they're in Korea, in Japan, in Malaysia, whatever country Atomy is available in, if they buy a product, the PV that accumulates gets calculated into the general commission where you gain around 30%, right? Here it says 23% of just the general, okay? But how does this business plan flow down the river, right? That's what you have to think about. Everything has to flow naturally, okay? And as the PV generated gets accumulated from the 1st to the 15th, okay? If you accumulate 2.5 million PEV on your left and right side, then you automatically qualify for mastership. 
That's why I say that this is what? A business that gets built naturally. Because you're, consu- you're building consumers with value. And that consumer is going to consume the product because they see value. And as you continue to build value with other individuals, your downline will become bigger and bigger. And as your downline becomes greater in PV, it will automatically be calculated into mastership bonuses that you get then what? Around 30 to 33% of the 35%. You see, what I'm so- you see what I'm talking about? Yes or no? That's why in this company, we are proud to say that we give back as much as we can to everybody in the system who does not have the necessary skills or ability to gain from other companies. Because we've taken everything out. We didn't break down 35% into 5, 10 different categories, right? All the things that Atomy is broken down into is the necessary things that we need, just natural building okay so in this business there are different masterships right some people are uh sales masters diamond masters sharon rose masters star masters royal masters right there are different masterships but the unique thing about atomy is we categorize individuals according to their income that's why we have something called a leaders club and a royal leaders club, and a crown leaders club, right? So it's very different than other companies. In in Atomy, you can become a leaders club member and only be a diamond master. You can become a leaders club member and be some, a leaders club is somebody who makes more than $100,000 a year, okay? And a royal leaders club member is somebody who makes more than $200,000 a year. And a crown leaders club is somebody who makes more than $400,000 a year. Okay? But, for example, I became a royal leaders club member when I was a Sharon Rose master. Right? So, without, but there's somebody, there are other people in the company who are maybe royal masters, but yet are still not royal leaders club members. So the company is structured in a way where your mastership does not necessarily matter with your income. It is about how do you build your downline so that these individuals here are gaining value and how are you building your downline in terms of how are you making business partners here and there. No, it's about how much volume are you able to create with these great products globally. And Atomy is created in a way where you're able to do that very easily okay so let's go to the next slide the business oblig the business opportunity with no obligations okay so this is the thing that i like to emphasize for everybody here today everybody here today you have your own personal abilities right there are things that you are good at there are things that you are maybe not so good at but we can all agree and say that as individuals the less stipulations that there are in business, the easier it will be for you to create other business partners. So here, no entrance fee, no monthly fee, no fees of whatsoever. And what? We have a company-supported and paid-for education. Okay. So the one-day seminars, the Success Academies, the online VODs, everything that you see in Atomy, everything that you see in Atomy that is education-based, PowerPoint related, anything, is given to you for free, okay? So this means that individuals who do not have the ability to do this and that or make their own material are still supported by the company to do it, so therefore you do not lack in any area to create education for your downline. And that's the beauty of this business. In other businesses, it is not company supported, right? It is your group that supports it. So your group usually has to rent the hotels. Your group usually has to run the seminars. And if those, if that was the case for Atomy, then again, regular individuals like myself who do not have the capital, who do not have the necessary skills to run a venue will then not become successful in the business, right? So these are the things that I wanted to touch upon and talk with you about today. And as I 
do as I'm doing this business, I have been able to learn so many different things. And I want to give you a word of encouragement, okay? Um, in Korea, um, I have many partners in just all over the world who are doing this business. And one of the things that a lot of people um, get, they lose focus when they think they should have a certain result, okay? So what I mean is this, okay? Let's say that you are here today, okay? And if you work 10 hours today, then you usually know how much money you should be getting, right? Because we are accustomed to being an employee. We are accustomed to knowing how much we should be getting paid hourly, right? So if I put in 10 hours today, then I should get about 10 hours of results, right? That's what we think as employees. But we have to change that mindset because in Atomy, you are not an employee. You are your own personal business owner. So when I first started Atomy, I worked 10 hours a day, 30 days, 300 hours, and I got paid $73.30. That was my first commission. How much did I get? $73.30. and thirty cents. That's about 25 cents an hour. Right? 25 cents an hour. But I understood that this business was not about my time. Okay? It's about what? What am I building now? What's the foundation that I'm building now to create that system that's going to provide me with passive income in the end? If I would have quit because I thought that my time was only worth 25 cents five years ago, then I would not be here today. So I want to encourage you. Don't look to your left. Don't look to your right. And don't say, oh, this person is so fast. Why am I so slow? I'm doing this and that. Why isn't this working? No. That's not what this business is about. This business is about sharing. Sharing what Atomy can do for you and them. And continuing to build the business and giving value. And as you do that, money will automatically follow. Do you understand? Yeah. So love, share, and continue and do not give up because it is inevitable that you will become successful. Thank you.